The heartless crime thief stealing a wheelchair from a local man who has had three amputations. They also stole thousands of dollars of tools from his south side garage. Jerome Jeremy Vidine does woodworking to make a living, and he spoke with News for Jack's reporter Maggie Lorenz today, saying, Maggie, it's a huge blow because woodworking, I mean, it sounds like this is really what keeps him going. Yeah, Jeremy told me today that woodworking makes him feel like his life still has purpose. Over the years of working in construction, he's collected dozens of top quality power tools, saws, grinders, sanders, compressors that were all stolen out of his garage at the estate's apartment complex behind me. He believes that the thief knew how frequently he went into his garage and also knew how much nice stuff was inside of it. It's extremely beneficial to me to, to just know that I can still create things. Jeremy Vidine loves woodworking. Things that other people enjoy and can use in their lives. But for four years, he hasn't been well enough to work after losing both his legs and one of his hands to a rare disease. In the last six months, he started up his passion again, visiting his garage at his apartment complex almost every day. I get in this chair, which is my shop chair, and I started trying to come into the floor, and there was a big mess on the floor. So that's the first thing I noticed. Thieves wiped Jeremy of thousands of dollars worth of power tools he's collected over the years. I looked over here where my where I had just recently hung up, finally built this little rack to hang all my tools so that you know you, I could grab them when I need them. And and see what I see what I have and it, it was empty and they didn't stop at the tools you can see that they took the wheelchair and the barrel and filled it with all of my anything that was worth money tools that I've been holding on to and and use that to roll away with them in a matter of minutes Jeremy was robbed not only of his spare wheelchair stored in the garage but also of the one thing that has brought him joy that's really been what my life has been about besides being sick has been my woodworking drastic change in him when he was able to get back to doing something in life besides Healthcare. The Vidines are now working with insurance to reimburse as much as they can, and Jeremy, in the meantime, is working with the tools he has left. He needs a kidney transplant and is trying to set up a YouTube page of his woodworking and eventually sell his work to pay medical bills. Stand by. And the Vidines say it's been difficult working with insurance because they want receipts to prove it. But Jeremy says that he got all of these tools years ago and he doesn't have them anymore. The couple has also filed a police report through JSO. They said that their apartment complex, the Enclave Apartments, does not have surveillance video of this happening. Reporting live on the south side, Maggie Lorenz, Channel 4, the local station.